I have a couple pickup shots that I need to grab for a video I'm finishing up highlighting a real estate agent. So we're gonna go to the beach, see if there's, uh, what the crowd looks like. We look a little weird being here, but uh, you can film on a public beach if there's no expectation of privacy. Although I wouldn't be surprised if I get someone coming up saying, don't film me. I rarely use this lens, but it really comes in handy. There's just certain times where I can get an, a crazy, unique look uh, that my client is usually happy with. Very happy <laughs> that I sold the C70. And there isn't a massive image quality difference between the two, it's the ergonomic difference. That is what is making me like this purchase so much more. As much grief as I give Florida, it is absolutely beautiful. I try to stick to mostly shooting jobs, but sometimes I do shoot and edit. This is one example where very small project, uh, maybe three half days in total. So one day was our interview setup in her backyard. Second day was going around the county and grabbing a drone B-roll. And then the third one, which I did yesterday, was B-roll on the ground with the telephoto lens, this type of stuff. And I just happened to get some amazing shots like that one cruise ship going right across the pier and very happy with it. Uh, you know, some screen recording, just matching up the B-roll to what she's talking about. Very happy with this one and uh, it'll be going out invoiced and finished. I got a last minute inquiry from an agency in Los Angeles. They need conference B-roll and interviews. The only difference on this one is there's an NDA, so I can't show anything. It's a full day rate. We're doing a very small interview and handheld B-roll, and that's about it. All right, arriving 10 minutes early than normal. I'm supposed to meet them in the lobby. So it's a good start to the day. During my pre-production call with the director, he said we we're gonna do on the flight interviews. I told him we can either do a LOV, um, which takes a little bit more time and we have to put the cable on people, or we could have a dedicated interview spot where we have a shotgun mic boomed overhead. So he agreed on that. Then when I showed up today, we had very limited space in the booth. So he said, let's do lavalier. So I'm really glad I packed this because it was not supposed to be used, but we ended up using it. I did bring my 200X and then I have the panel and that is what I'm using now. And it's just uh, a one by one. And I just made this diffusion out of uh, diffusion paper and then outlined it in gaff tape and I just slap it on. Um, it looks a little ghetto. I got my camera on sticks and I got my light and I'm just waiting here because I only have one interview left and it takes about three minutes to do, but the person has not confirmed or unconfirmed. So I'm just waiting and I have two and a half hours before my wrap time. <laughs> um, so hopefully it doesn't take that long. They ended up holding me until the last minute, which is fair play. They paid me for the day. But I wanna show you, the entire day was on one battery, still have 21%. These things are really worth it. A lot of people ask me how I get into corporate work and I live in Orlando, which is a massive tourist destination. So you definitely have to play to your market's advantages. If you're in a nowhere town, you got to market yourself and drive to that big destination. Believe it or not, it's morning and we are up before the sun. And this is what I love about being a freelance DP is yesterday I finished my job. I handed off the footage and I get to wipe my hands clean. I am done with that job. No edits, nothing. New job today. Ahead of you, it'll look epic when you go by me with the camera. 
So we got here, immediately started filming the swimming race. They're gonna do awards at the step and repeat, and then they're gonna launch the stand-up paddleboard race. And they're racing in that uh, water right there. That's the Banana River. And surf contest time. We got a ton of activities to capture. First one is volleyball. And there's a couple courts going. How did I get this job? Well, this is a long-standing client, but in actuality, I would describe it as friends who work together. I made a video, this one in the corner, about how I got started in freelance filmmaking. It was because I met a local guy. I reached out to him, that guy sitting down, Dalton, and he was doing uh, his own productions. And we were both learning, you know, very low level. But he started to grow, I started to grow, and it was a couple of us, and now he has pretty much any production that is on the Space Coast in Central Florida, uh, he's a part of. And I'm happy to jump on when necessary. We don't work together as much as normal, but it's always fun. This is a surf contest, so we have a dedicated filmer capturing all the surfing. But for event recaps, most of the stuff is B-roll. It's crowd reactions, it's people having fun. Uh, that's where you connect to the facial expressions and the, uh, yeah, people just enjoying themselves. So that's what I'm doing right now. I am waiting for a surfer to catch a good wave and then I'm looking this way to grab the crowd reaction celebrating. Here we go, they let him go a little bit early. Again, take what they can get. These guys are strapped in. So what happens with the straps? It's supposedly easier to pump. I've burned myself too many times to not wear a hat at all outdoor events. It really, really helps. This is men's finals, last heat of the day, and it's my job to capture the winner as he comes in. You guys always hear me talk about how important networking is. So my next Orlando filmmaker meetup is gonna be March 14th at 6.30 p.m. This one is an open invite. It's a great opportunity to meet people that you live next to that you don't know are in the video world. There's people in there who uh, I've hired, I've been hired. It's just a, a, a good opportunity to spread your roots and your network, which is the hardest part about growing the network is the initial meeting. Another way to grow the network is the art of documentary, is having their doors open on March 13th, the day before, and they're gonna be offering their early bird pricing. And I highly recommend taking advantage of it. I did, and I saved a couple hundred bucks when I went in last year. They only open up twice per year. And same thing, it's another opportunity to plug into a network, you get access to their Facebook group, Lifetime Access, and that has every AOD member in the world in there. Plus you get cool things like the Zoom feedback calls if you're working on an edit and you want the owners to review it. I've had really good success with it. If it's something that you're thinking of, you can use the discount code in my description and the link. And I'm really interested if anybody considers this because I always want to be transparent and this is affiliate marketing. You get a discount and I get a kickback and hopefully we grow with a mutually beneficial relationship. And also I will, I will have a vlog coming out that shares more of the numbers of whatever this gets what the YouTube AdSense gets, because I know a lot of people are interested in that, it's actually not as much as I'd hoped, and the Amazon uh, links that I have in my description for all my gear. Um, I think that'd be a cool video to show you guys uh, the different streams of income that you can have from having a YouTube channel, especially one as new as mine, mine's you know 10 months old, but that's besides the thing. Um, if you want a discount for AOD, use my code and do it on March 13th because you're gonna get another huge chunk off. When I was at the beach, someone asked me, how do you like 240 frames per second? And I forgot that it could even do that. So I dropped it down to 1080 and I got one clip with it. It happened to be a perfect clip. This is handheld and I've never had full frame before. It looks awesome. Um, the one thing about surfing is you always wanna have the horizon level straight. So did a decent job. But that is fantastic. Even got some branding in the background. So yeah, this camera just continues to impress. 
I love it. I'm not leaving it. And in fact, I'm probably diving deeper into the Sony ecosystem.